Hi, this is Sherry at MissionMama.com and I have a sprout book to show you. It's, it's kind of science and sprouting in the kitchen, basically. So before you start the sprout book, what you should do is take some water and throw two, kid, two or three kidney beans in the water and just let them sit while you do the book and I'll show you what to do after that. So we're going to study the parts of the um, the parts of the bean um, sprout, and so the, the helium, which is that little hole there, we call it the bean belly button. The cotyledon, and it's the outside, and it tells you what it is in the inside here. And then the microfile which it tells you what it is again on the inside and then inside is the of the bean is the embryo which is the little plant and so we we printed that out and then we cut it cut it out and these are all found on missionmama.com and then the seed coat it couldn't fit it was the outside so I figured I'd put it right here and then what sprouts are sprouts are baby plants that have just come out of the seed and so we are going to sprout things that, that we can eat um, and the kids are going to do that um, by themselves so it's dinner growing in the kitchen so now we made seed properties and these are the different kinds of types of seeds you could have you could have cashews and um, it tells you the days to harvest the flavor um, nutritional value health how it helps you and the uses and I did that for cashews and then the kids wrote the names of them here cashews, almonds, buckwheat, alfalfa, mung beans and broccoli seeds and I put that there and our science project here is that we are going to record we're going to put our in our own jar we're going to grow sprouts each of them um, and they're going, we're going to record how long the, the sprout root is and each day so we can find out which ones grow fast and we're going to uh, measure them and, and we'll see which ones grow. We're going to do two so we're going to divide this into two each day. Um, another thing that I, I did and I'll show you how to do this is a sprout root growing. Um, and so it's just the sprout root, you print it out, you put it on cardstock, and you glue it. I glued, I glued it with liquid glue so it would really stick uh, onto popsicle sticks. And you cut a hole between, between the, the bean picture on cardstock. And then this is going to just be right here, and I am going to staple it to here so that it does not come up and there's like an inside there so that it's well protected. So you, the kids can do that which is kind of neat. The bean sprout seed can grow, the bean sprout root can grow and that's kind of fun. And then over here there's some recipes cards that um, here's a dressing that you can use with your bean sprouts and here is how to make coconut, um, a chocolate nut um, ice cream with your with your sprouts because even nuts are sprouted even though they don't get the little roots and so that's why we didn't do roots um, a root chart for them. We did um, mung, mung beans and alfalfa sprouts. Um, so I want to show you how to make this little thing here. It's pretty easy. So you take layers, some layers of paper, and you cut about as wide as you want it, like this. This is a pretty easy book. It's more about learning this one than about, um, and you could do write some reports and stuff on, on your findings, um, and put them in here, and then you you stagger it so each one and this isn't as many as I did but I spread it out like this so each one have a tag and then 
and it happens to be on the other side as well here such as this and then you fold it in half and you get this um, and because uh, we didn't need all of them but we wanted all the pretty colors we glued the ones that we didn't need together and we just used the ones that we did need and we put our seed properties um, sign on it so another thing we're going to do here and I hope you can see this is that so after we make our our lap book then we cut a bean seed apart and you can see you have three so you can make mistakes you have three of them so I cut this one apart and you can see the embryo inside and there's a seed coat and you can label all of the you could find all I hope you can see that oops you can see that you can label all the the parts of the bean seed but there's an embryo right there um, and and um, in addition to that then we're going to sprout some seeds as well and so now that our our book is made now it's all about sprouting the seeds and recording our data and and um, showing it on our bar graph at the end so I hope you enjoyed this um, science lap book for um, for sprouting beans and and you can also sprout alfalfa and broccoli and all of these that we have here and and you can enjoy those even in the winter time um, and it can even decrease your your bill plus it's quite healthy so anyway at least it's fun growing the seeds see here's the mung seeds and we filled it up about half with water and the seeds are soaking today for 24 hours we soak them in the refrigerator and here are the alfalfa seeds they're tinier um, but they they have lots of volume because there's so many in one in one tablespoon uh, we have two tablespoons here um, each and this is the alfalfa seeds and we're going to keep those in the refrigerator for 24 hours and then we're going to take them out and we're going to put cheesecloth on top of them with a rubber band and uh, and then we're going to sprout them. We're going to we're going to strain them and let them grow. And all the directions are there in the in the lap book. Thanks. Bye.